always, always, always write the original equation. Start. Oh, so what did you have to do, two and three? Rewrite the original problem exactly as is. When I was walking around, not everybody wrote the original problem down. They reverse things and write it exactly the way it's shown here. What do you do next? Jen? Make your railroad tracks. Make that second set of railroad tracks at the very bottom. Because as you'll see, after you do that middle step, you'll have a value for x. In this case, n. So I'm going to ask you because you aren't here. Which side? This is what we did yesterday. Which side has the variable? The left side of the train tracks or the right side? Everybody agree? Right side. Next important question: the variable n. What are we doing to it? What operation and by how much? Madison, we are adding 15. You see, it's n plus 15. So then, now that we know that we're adding 15, Sebastian, what, what's the opposite of add 15? How much? Right underneath where you see plus 15, do a minus 15. What's the rule for algebraic equations? Whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other side. So if I'm taking away 15 from the right side, i got to do minus 15 on the left side. To keep it balanced, because that's what an equation is. It's a balancing between the left and the right. So now, I'm going to go back to you again. Ready? If I have 15 something, and I take away that 15, how much do you have left? Zero. Zero. We say that those two quantities cancel each other out. You took 15 steps forward, and then you took 15 steps backwards. You're right back to where you were. So you're going to show the cancellation of those two quantities by putting a line through it. What's the only thing that's still left on the right side of the train tracks? N comes down. And then you do 38, take away 15, and what do you get? 23. Now kind of do like a little mental substitution. Is it, if this 23 is equal to N, isn't 23 plus 15 38? You can do that in your head, right? 23 plus 15 is 38. That's what you're showing in your check. So, the check, same thing like when you do your work. You're going to rewrite the original equation. Right? Still keeping n n. Now when I rewrite the next line, I'm going to substitute the value that I got as n equaling what? 23. So watch, my 38 is untouched. My equal sign comes straight down. My plus and 15 comes straight down. But now, instead of n, I put what? 23. 38. Still 38. Equal, still equal. What's 23 plus 15? Double check and make sure, because if you're off by a little bit, make sure it is equal to 38, is it? It works. That proves, by substitution, <clears throat> that 23 is equal to n. Okay, now here's where it gets confusing with the kids because I've noticed in working with you. Some kids, when they do the check, they think that they need to get 23 here also, but you're not. The easiest, like your number is 38 here. When you're done, you should get 38 on both sides. It, it's not going to be 23 on both sides here too. 23 is your answer, 38 is your proof. Okay, right, here comes number three. Rewrite. R, remember this is divided by? All right, what do you do? Shane. Send your railroad tracks. Give yourself room. All right, what's next? Alan. All right, R is being divided by 3, so you're going to do the opposite and multiply by 3. You can use the dot or you can use parentheses. Don't use an X. Whatever I do on the left, I've got to do on the... Right. Shane, what cancels? Uh, the... the three on the left. 
right? Divide by three, multiply by three. They're what are called they're called inverse operations. Okay, they're the opposite. What's the only thing that's left on that side? No, nope, because the three's canceled. Ready? Four. Okay, I'll let you get caught up. Four times three. How many you got? R equals twelve. Okay, here's how you prove it. Rewrite the original. This time, I'm going to substitute what for R, Christian? Correct. What's 12 divided by 3? Get it? Where, where are you getting lost? How about this? How many of you do get it? All right, this is what we're going to do. I'll work with you on the next couple of pages because really what your assignment is for the remainder of this period, go back to the beginning. I need you guys to, to do 8, 9, and 17. But listen, here's the deal, and I'm going to hold you to it. I have a list of those that do not have key privileges. You have to see me, otherwise you cannot go to lunch. If you do have key privileges, it's directly behind Kate. Okay? I have my little list. I'm going to hold you to it. I'm going to check you off. you got, you got to show it to me because it's not about getting the answer. It's about the steps. Dave, you're first. You make it work. If there's any problems, then we go back to singles. But yes.